So for today, we're going to be looking at the new Warlock armaments that the Warlocks got in Season of the Seraph. These are super, super cool. If you guys haven't seen my Hunter or Titan videos, they'll be up right now. If you guys want to check those out, because those are also really, really cool. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. Let me know what you got is your favorite. I personally really like the boots a lot more than the arms, which I'm probably just going to pick up the, arm, the boots and the arms. Probably not so. But again, let me know what you guys think, because I am interested to see what you guys think about these pieces. So... For the first one, we're going to be looking at the secant filaments. I think this is a dub. I think this is way better than the default look because the default look is, don't get me wrong, it looks super cool, but I think this one looks even better just because there's glows to it, which actually do change color. Uh, the ornamentation of it just looks super, super cool, especially if you combine it with other ornamental like chess pieces. It, it looks really, really cool. As for how it shaders, again, like I said, it shaders really well. You guys can see that for Echoed Anger, it's actually taken a lot of the white and some of the red and the actual like ornaments on the boots are taking red and some of the blue steel. Same thing for the Abyssinian gold, a lot of black in this, a little bit of brown, which is really cool, but I probably would not use this with the uh, Abyssinian gold just because Abyssinian gold is not really good for this. I would probably combine this with some gold, sl silver, something like bougie colored. That way it can really showcase just how beautiful the ornaments are. And I do apologize that I couldn't find like a better chest piece to like take out the, the robes. This is the best one so far and it is symmetrical. So one side is the same as the other side. So again, let me know what you guys think again dude the i'm gonna be real like i definitely want this this ornament just because i'm gonna be using secant filaments a lot more just because they look so so cool as for the example set i ended up going with a bougie ass looking warlock with a new shader this is the gambit shader for this season which don't worry i will be showcasing the shaders in a separate video i just want to do the whole playlist shader so that way we can just get all of them out of the way but this will be the example set that i use for that video just because i don't want to make another set because i think this looks amazing already but yeah let me know what you guys think for the helmet raising celestial cover because i want some glow in here because obviously the boots have glow in there for the arms raising blood lineage gloves just because uh it looks really bougie you guys can see this is like part of the vampire set that the warlocks got for halloween and you guys can see it looks just excellent with this chest piece it looks actually really really cool and i love, like the fact that the the fingertips are actually uh sharp so that's also why i'm using it the nemean robes was an easy choice for this just because there's so much ornament uh ornamentation happening there's so many like just uh engravings and stuff like that which is why i wanted to use it uh, obviously the Ro roinant tracery i think that's the first time i say this ornament same but it looks really cool with this chest piece. And then Virtuous Bond was an easy choice because I wanted a little bit more glow. I think this is probably one of my better made sets for my Warlock. I think each piece goes really well. I would probably just say if you wanted to switch something out, I think the helmet would probably be the easiest thing to switch out just because the Nemean Reeves in combination with the Blood Lineage gloves look really good. And the Blood Lineage gloves actually take the off color of cloth. So it's also really good to pair it with the Nemean robes because the Nemean robes also take the off color. So that's why I'm using it. To be fair, though, some shaders might just be the fact that, oh, there's no other cloth shaders. So you're just going to get this color instead. So either way, I really like the combination of the Blood and Lineage gloves with the Nemean robes with the Rain and uh, Tracery. I think this just looks amazing. Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. What, what are you guys going to be rocking with the Rain and Tracery? Let me know in the comments below. As for the last ornament, it is going to be the Endothermia for the Osmiel Mancy gloves. This one, I'm going to be real, is kind of boring. The reason I'm not picking it up is because not a lot changes. The only thing that really does change. To, OK, I shouldn't say it doesn't change. It actually does change a lot of it. It's just that it doesn't like the silhouette of it doesn't really change that much. I mean, it does change from the fact that it's a lot shorter and a lot thicker and you have that ice there. But I'm talking as a like as a whole, the shape still kind of looks the same. And I really don't really care. And I really don't care for that, to be quite honest. Uh, again, it doesn't look bad by any means. It's just personally, I don't really care for it. As for how it shaders, it shaders fine. Just be aware that the ice on the arm just won't change color. It's stasis, obviously, so it won't change color. But I, I'm going to be real with you guys. I just have no opinion about this ornament. I just think it looks very very boring uh like 
as an ornament, it just looks kind of boring to me. I would have much preferred if like in combination with the ice on the arm, you like maybe your, some of your fingers would have been iced as well. Because if you guys can see the finger actually has armor, specifically the pointer finger, it actually has armor there. So I think it would have been better to either make the whole like sharp edge at the end, make that whole stasis or make like some of the fingers stasis as well, because that would have been really cool as well. I just think it's just kind of basic for, for an ornament is like pretty much what I have in mind. So yeah, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think about the ornament. As for the example set, I ended up going with the Starfarer's hood. It's one of my favorite helmets for the Warlocks. They look super, super cool with the Meridian Constellation robes. This one, I kind of wanted to combine it. So that way it kind of like you, you see a lot of fur, but there's ice on the arms. It just kind of like, for me, just made me giggle a little, which is why I'm using it. For the boots, we're using these psionic speaker boots, just because I like the fact that it looks like, uh, like not armor, but like, like latex armor, I guess you would say. I, I think it looks super cool. And then the arm, the bond, and then the bond, we're using the Mahalova's tail. This is an old one from, I think, uh, Warmind. It's Warmind's, uh, Eververse set. So, yeah, we're like, let me know what you guys think. Again, I don't think this looks bad. It just looks kind of basic. Like, I don't know if I would want to buy it for Bright Dust because it's like 1200 for Bright Dust or something like that. And I'm just like, do I really want to get it for something that I don't think looks that great when the base look of Osmiel Mansi gloves already look really cool and shade her really well. So I don't know. Uh, this, this definitely has to come up with, like, I definitely want to hear from you guys do you guys like it? Do you guys think it's unique enough to get the purchase? Let me know in the comments below. I definitely think the uh, Tican filament boots are easily a good choice like that. Those boots, I'm definitely going to buy, but the arms, I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me, links are in the description below. Thank you guys for all the constant support. I really do appreciate y'all. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.